Hi guys, I'm going to make some plant-based meat. So if any of you are having a hard time finding meat, then this is the recipe for you because you can make this like into a shredded um, barbecue. All right, so um, I got this recipe from the Great Vegan Barbecue. Um, but I'm not going to make their sauce. <clears throat> I'm just going to use bottled sauce. So anyway, um, let me tell you what I have here. Here's, here are my ingredients. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. Okay, I have two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of annatto, that's basically for color, so if you don't have it or you can't find it, I got it online, uh, you could leave that out. Uh, one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And here I have two cups of vital wheat gluten, which is the protein that's taken out of flour. So this is actually high protein. The carbs have been washed out, so it's a very good protein source if you don't have meat or you don't eat meat. Okay, so I'm going to add my spices to this. And hopefully you can see that. Let's put it up here. Bring you a little closer. There we go. Oops. There. All right. So I'm going to whisk this up to incorporate it nicely. So those are all the dry ingredients, and this is so simple. I mean, there's really nothing complicated to it. If you can't find vile wheat gluten in your grocery store, most grocery stores do carry it. You can get it online at Amazon. And I think a bag will cost you about $10, but it goes a long way. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Now here for my liquid ingredients. In here, I sauteed two cups of just regular mushrooms. I think the original recipe calls for shiitake mushrooms. Um, no, for portobello mushrooms, I didn't have those. So they're just regular white mushrooms. I sauteed those. Those are in here. I haven't blended this up yet. Um, it calls for um, two cups. Oh, not that. Um, let's see. It calls for, hang on, half a cup of water, quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of hickory flavored liquid smoke, one tablespoon of tomato paste, and two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. So I need to blitz this up because the mushrooms are still in here. And I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just looks like it almost looks like chocolate pudding, but everything's all well incorporated. Now, the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm going to add a tablespoon of um, apple cider vinegar. I have kombucha vinegar, but apple cider vinegar, any vinegar, it takes away some of the, the wheat taste from the uh, vital wheat gluten. So, it's a trick I learned from Chef Jana. So that's that. Now, another thing it calls for is dark beer. I don't have dark beer, but I do have just regular, this is Aldi's brand beer, and it calls for half a cup 
half a cup of dark beer. So, but since I don't have that, I'm just going to add half a cup to my mix here. So in go my liquid ingredients. Stir up the vinegar a little bit. I should have put that in when I was blending it, but I forgot. So in that goes and it really smells meaty. It smells like barbecue. It really does. So to this now I'm going to add the half a cup of beer. So there's a quarter. And there's half. Alright, ooh, that's foaming up. Now I'm going to mix this all up. I'll bring you a little closer. And I know it doesn't look real attractive right now, but we're going to bake this in the oven. And then we're also going to put some barbecue sauce on it. So it looks like it's going to be kind of a wet dough, and that's okay because we're going to put it in a pan. When you're making seitan, the texture all depends on how much you work with the dough, how you cook it. You can go from anywhere from a very soft loaf to a very dense, chewy, meaty, steak-like consistency. So it's very versatile and it's a lot of fun to play with. Sometimes it's like playing with Play-Doh. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I have here a little greased pan, just so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to put this in the pan, and then I'm going to bake this at 350 for about 40 minutes. And then after that, we're going to come back and grill it. So just make it even in your pan. Probably easiest to use your hands. This is a, a wet dough, but it doesn't stick to your hands. Vital wheat gluten just normally it doesn't work like regular flour. It doesn't stick to your hands. So this is what it's going to look like when it's going in the oven. 350 for 40 minutes. And I'll be back when this is done. All right, well, while I'm waiting, I thought I would uh, use up the rest of this beer and make some beer bread. I haven't made this since the 70s, so I hope it turns out. Obviously, this is uh, missing half a cup, so uh, the original recipe for the beer bread was three cups of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, and a bottle of beer. So I'm going to do about one and a half, one and three quarter cup of flour. I don't have uh, self-rising flour, which that's what the original recipe calls for. So if you don't have that, add one tablespoon, or sorry, one teaspoon baking powder and a teaspoon salt for every cup of um, regular flour. So that's what I have in here. So I want to whisk this up together. And we'll see how this comes out because I'm just guesstimating here. And I know in baking, guesstimating doesn't always work. So we'll see how this comes out. But I don't like to drink beer, it's just not my thing. 
but I do like beer bread. All right, so let's pour the beer in. And we're going to go slow because it's fizzing up. This is an old recipe from, I don't know when they first started, but I remember it was a big, a big thing in the 70s. Everybody was making beer bread. So, okay, and then I'm going to stick this in a loaf pan, and as soon as my, my uh, wheat meat is done, I'm going to stick this in. And I don't think you need to mix this too much. You just want to incorporate it until it's all mixed together. I'm just using a whisk, but I think a spoon will work just as well. And hopefully, this will be edible. Alright, so that's good enough. And I'm going to get a pan and put this in a pan, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My wheat meat is done. And this is what it looks like when it's baked. Now I divided that in half. So I'm going to grill this now on the griddle. I'm going to put some oil on it. Like I said, I'm not going to make the barbecue sauce that, that they made in the cookbook. I'm just going to use some Sweet Baby Ray's. I did taste this. It has a good flavor. Cut this in half so it'll fit on my griddle here. Now you can do this in a frying pan too, but I want to do both sides at once, so So I'm going to grill this now, and then I'll be back and show you what it looks like when it's done. Oh, in the meantime, I did get my beer bread. I haven't tasted it yet. And I also made some coleslaw that I want to put on top of the wheat meat. So I'll show you that when I come back. So you can cut this into strips, or you can shred it, or you can cut it into rib-like pieces, put barbecue sauce on. So I'm just going to give this a taste and see what I think. Very smoky. has a meaty taste. I would make this again. Very close to a, to a rib. Of course you have to remember this is not meat, but it has a good flavor. So this is still cooking. I don't know, this griddle isn't the best, so I'll be back. Okay, now the recipe says to shred this up. I'm only doing half shredded. The other half I'm going to freeze. And then you just put the barbecue sauce on. And you put it on a sandwich. I don't have any buns, so I'm just going to put it on some rye bread with a little coleslaw and see what it tastes like. So I'm going to shred this up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. 
Got my beer bread. Haven't cut that yet. Here's my sandwich. And honestly, I like it better as a little riblet. I haven't tried this yet, but I have some homemade coleslaw in there, some vinegar coleslaw. And I put it on rye bread because I don't have any buns. So that's going to be dinner. And I'm going to give the beer bit beer bread a try. Let's see. Looks good. To get some butter and try it. And I do like the crust, so I'm going to try that with some butter. And it would probably be good with the barbecue wheat meat. Hmm, it's good. So, I'm going to give the little riblet a try. tasty. And the sandwich is too messy. I'm going to have that with my homemade kombucha. I put some raspberry tarani in there. And that's dinner. Cheers! Love you guys. Abundant blessings. See you next time.